So I have made two videos so far in which I used Herodotus. Those are my Battle of the 300 Champions video a few weeks ago and my very um, controversial video on the death of Cyrus. The latter video received many comments criticizing Herodotus and myself for using him. But while it is true that he is a dubious source, I feel like I need to make a video defending Herodotus or at least my use of it. Now, there are three main reasons I like Herodotus and he should be still studied. There are two that are objective and one that is personal to me. I think the personal one is going to come first here and then we'll explore the other two after. So I personally enjoy his stories as they're interesting. This channel is about good stories and Herodotus' stories are quite good. Even if they're not true, they are interesting stories all the same. Mythological stories are not true, but they are still interesting. Lovecraft stories are not true. C.S. Lewis's stories are not true, but are they interesting? Yes. If we approach these stories with the same understanding that these stories may not be true, we can simply enjoy these stories for what they are stories. Herodotus is known as the father of history for a reason. The methodology that he started was the foundation of our modern form of history. Of course, we have changed and improved this methodology since then, but what he started has become foundational to later classical historians and even to modern historians today. Herodotus has given us a deep insight into how the ancients viewed the world. Herodotus makes clear that in his histories, he is simply writing down the stories reported to him by the locals. Whether that be the story of the flying snakes from Arabia or the Ethiopians having black semen. Yes, look it up, that is a real thing. N not that they have black semen, but Herodotus said that. This is how the world was understood by the Greeks in the 400s BCE. And that is important. In order to truly understand a culture, you have to understand how they view the world. Do I sound like Thrawn? I truly believe there is a lot to be learned from studying Herodotus, and if your criticism of him can be boiled down to simply it's not historically accurate, then you've misunderstood the entire reason why we should study him. So that is why I like Herodotus. In short, anyway. I hope you guys enjoy. Remember, if you liked this video, like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and follow my socials in the description along with my subreddit. My TIL vids is down there if you're on YouTube and my YouTube if you're on TIL. And as always, I will see you next week, babies.